Hi, I'm going to quickly show you Site3D's building pad design features and automatic exposed brickwork and tanking annotations. So we have our building pad design tools here where we can uh, insert and move and rotate, level, adding path and extra features. We also have a house type library manager here and we have our new house template. So what I'll do here is I'm going to use that one and I'm going to design say this H500 house type here. Now normally you would design this from an architect's layout and so um, Site3D automatically puts the first one on at, at zero level because it's uh, assuming that it's actually just a, uh, a, a layout. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this one on I'm going to uh, set it to be going forwards and set the, uh, the front of the house here I'm going to add on a door so these are all the features you can add on here doors, back doors, side doors, patio doors, garage doors etc I'm going to use some of the snaps to help me place these things uh, I'll add on a uh, patio door here I'll do exactly the same use the uh, snap points to help me uh, position it so I've added a couple of doors on I'm now going to uh, finish this one I'll call this one H500. You only have to design this up the first time. You're actually creating sort of a template here, which is why when I click OK, it'll insert it at zero. So um, realistically, what you'd normally do is you'd have this designed up in, in your uh, manager. And then if I just get rid of that one for a second, and what you do is you go into the place house, and I've already got one in here called H414. This is the H500 I just created. I'm going to select that one and insert it. So I'm going to use my snaps and snap to the positions and there you go so what it's done here is it's inserted it and it's also if I close that one created a uh, footpath link to the back of footway of the road and it's also automatically annotating the um, level ramped and stepped in this case annotation here and it's stepped because the uh, FFL is 15.6 and the uh, level at the back of footway here is 15.2 so it's a lot higher so we can obviously change those if we want to. We can set the level, and what we'll do here is we'll do that one. So this is at 15.6. Let's do this at 15.2, say. And it's showing me here the nearest brick course is 15.225. That's still lower than that. I want that, um, say, a bit higher. So let's do 15.3, say. 15.3. Oh, and there is actually a brick course up there. So this is helping us um, align the... Um, houses, buildings, garages, etc. or to the same brick course. There we go. Oh, right click quit. So we have our <coughs> we have our house type and in uh, generated and we've inserted one on here and it'll be underneath this one here. So if I turn off the uh, the ground here you can see what's happening. So we have this inserted as we need it. So this is now annotating as leveled because it's within the uh, well, it's within the part M. So it's basically it's a reasonable grade on the footway here. And what I'll do is I'll add on a couple more of those just to sort of show you how you do the rotation. So if you hit insert, select the H500, select, and then ro right click and hit rotate. And then I'm going to say I'll pick uh, pick a line to work with that's on the same angle. There we go. And we can do the exact same down here, just position it, and there you go. So you can insert several of the same house type on here. And we can then insert the other one, say the H414. So let's insert that one up here. There we go, and we can do the same thing, rotate to something like that, and then insert it down here. And then we can rotate to this one. Um, Ah, wrong way. Rotate to, to that one. So, ah, in this case, we've actually got the uh, the house type is actually needs to be handed. It needs to be flipped along the front of the house here. So I'm going to do hand. So it's mirroring left to right, and there we go. And there we go. So what it's done is it's it's put in our houses the, the uh, to the average of the um, external ground levels here so it's coming in at a lot lower red means that the um, footway is falling down towards the house and uh, as i put this one here white is higher so obviously we uh, we 
ideally we'd want these raised a bit anyway. So this one's still level access, but it's leveled access, but it's falling towards the house. Uh, the uh, levels are falling towards the house. We can change all that one by using the leveling features. That's not a problem. Once you've done all this, then you probably want to set the um, corner levels of your house as well. So edit house item, and we can say, well, I'll choose this one here. So this one is currently at 15.15, which is 150 mil below the FFL. We may want to say, drop that down a bit further. We can either set an absolute level at 15, or we can say, well, it needs to be 300 mil below it. So do that one. And it's worked out and showing the exposed brickwork here. We can do a similar thing on this one, um, where we say, well, this one needs to be, um, say it needs to be 150 mil above. So I'll just remove the zero, uh, the minus there. So it's 150 mil above the FFL. There we go. So it's working out our exposed brickwork and tanking. So there we go. Thank you.